What's up, everyone? I hope everyone's having an amazing, amazing day. Thank you guys again for coming here back on the YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to be talking to my forwards, and we are going to be talking about Thierry Henry and what you can learn from the greatest forward of all time. Right now, go in the comments and, and tell me if you agree or disagree with that statement. But today, we're going to be talking about Thierry Henry. We're going to be talking about the three things you need to do as a forward to make sure that you guys are... Uh, operating on the optimal level. So make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, hit that like button so we can get started. The first thing you need to realize about Thierry Henry and what you can take away from his game to add to your game if you're a forward or a winger is you got to understand movement. Thierry Henry was a master of timing the run, master of movement. I'm only going to show you one uh, scenario, one example of this. If you if you want more examples, go check out my video on the five types of forward runs. You need to be studying those. You need to be locking in on those, and that will create more chances in a game. The law of averages says the more times you the more chances you have in a game, the more likely you are to score more goals. Right. So some of you guys are focusing so much on your your finishing and and your dribbling abilities and all these different things. You should be focusing on your movement and how can you improve your movement to get more chances in a game. That's the key. That's where that's where the opportunities lie, and that's how you can score more goals. So let me get into uh, the movement. Okay, guys, you need to check this out. This is a an example of just understanding the movement aspect. This is not about specific types of movement because you can go check that out in my other video, my five different my five different types of movement for forwards. But this is just an an, an idea of why I, I wrote this. Understanding of movement is what gets Thierry Henry more goals. Watch this movement right here. So Arsenal of old, the best team in all the world at the time. And you see that movement right there and you see the goal. Okay, so let's go back real quick, real quick. Watch this. Watch him at the bottom of your screen. As the defenders drop off, as the defenders drop off, what does Thierry Henry do? He goes opposite of the defenders. All the defenders drop off here and Thierry Henry comes in here, opens up in here and it's a goal. Okay, so I mean, guys, you guys got to be watching this. You got to be understanding what's going on. This is why video analysis is so important. It gets you the ideas that you need to make adjustments and make these types of movements in a game so that you can score more goals. Watch this one more time. All the defenders drop off. All the defenders drop off into the box and they say, oh shoot, we forgot about our we forgot about the best forward in the world. And it's an easy goal, right? You guys gotta notice these moments, understand these moments, and you'll get more goals. Simple as that. The better your movement, the more opportunities, the more goals you'll get. Okay, guys, here's number two, understanding of the physical game of soccer. So Thierry Henry obviously was, was not the, the, the biggest or the strongest player necessarily, but he used his body very, very well. We talked about the movements. Now, when you get close to a defender, when you are one-on-one -on -one with the defender, you have to be able to use your body. You have to be able to hold the ball up. Regardless of your size, you have to be able to do this. Here's an example of him doing that to perfection. You guys have probably seen this clip before, but I want you guys to notice just he understands when to use his body, when he wants to use his skill to get past, when to use his speed, his understanding of the game. He has so many different tools and all of those tools you can use, right? It doesn't matter if you're the shortest player on the team, if you're the tallest player on the team, if you're the strongest, or the, if you're the skinniest, it doesn't matter. You can use all of these things. The first one, you can, use, you can use the movements, the understanding of movement. You can use number two, the physical game. Even if you're not that physical, you can still do these things. When you're inside the 18-yard box, it is very delicate situation for a center back or a center defensive mid. It is very, very delicate, and you have to understand that you have all the power in that situation. Watch this. He knows it's time to use his body. He holds the guy off. He cannot reach. If he tries to reach for the ball here, it's a foul. He has all the power. Thierry Henry has all the power here. And of course, you have the skill aspect of it, okay? So he finishes. What I want you guys to take away from this is to know when to use the physical game and when to use the skill, the speed, the movement, okay? That's the, that's the most important part of this part. My apologies, guys. Here is the clip that I was talking about.
if you need to remember what I was saying, just go back a little bit in the video. My apologies. And here we go. The last one and the one that I think that most people worry about too much or, you know, some don't worry about it enough, but the most important probably is the technique aspect, okay? Because there are a lot of players out there who have good movement. There are a lot of people out there who are physical, but do they have the technique to finish it off, right? So you have to have the technique to finish it off. I am not saying that you should not have the technique. However, I truly, truly believe, and these are my parting remarks when it comes to forwards, I truly, truly believe that you need to focus on your movement first, focus on how you hold up the ball, how you keep possession for the team, and then finally focus on technique and finishing it off, okay? These are the most important things that you can do as a forward, regardless of your size, regardless of your height, regardless of your strength and all that stuff. These are the three most important things you can do as a forward. Watch this, watch this last clip. Watch this last clip, watch this technique, the ability to go up for the ball, Look, he goes up for the ball, he wins the header, and then count count the number of players around him right now. Do you have one, two, three, four, five, six, and the keeper to beat? Six players. These are some of the greatest players in Premier League history. You have uh, John Terry. You have uh, Ricardo Carvalho. You have um, Frank Lampard. You guys have some of the best players, some of the best defenders in the game. And what happens here? One touch and a finish. Watch that one more time. Goes up for the header, comes back down, little touch and finish. That is technique at its finest, guys. That is technique at its absolute finest. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure that you guys go and subscribe. Make sure you like it, but most importantly, make sure you go share and comment. If you have any other positions, any other players you want me to go over, write it down in the comments. I always, always appreciate your comments and I always get back to every single comment. Make sure again that you guys take this advice and apply it to your game. That is the most important part. I appreciate you guys and I will see you guys on the next video. Peace.